Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss the numerical based on block diagram and signal flow graph representation of a discrete time systems. Fine. So the question will come like construct the block diagram and signal flow graph of the discrete time systems whose input output relations are described by the following difference equation. Okay. So here if you see y of n is given as 0 0.7 into x of n plus 0 0.7 into x of n minus 1. So there are two parts. So we'll deal with this part first. We'll deal with this part first and we are going to add these two parts. This plus means we need an adder here, right, to add these two parts. So we'll see this. Don't worry. Fine. So first we are going to evaluate the first part. So the block diagram representation for 0 0.7 into x of n. So we know, right, you remember constant multiplier we were passing x of n and the output was a into x of n right constant multiplier in the last lecture right so we need a constant multiplier and the constant value here is what 0 0.7 so this is what a constant multiplier 0 0.7 and the input signal will be what x of n then you will get an output 0 0.7 into x of n hope this is clear to you now let's move further and see the signal flow graph representation for 0 0.7 into x of n so input is what x of n for this only equivalent signal flow graph representation arrow and 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 so at the output node you will get 0 0.7 into x of n so this part is done now what is the second part? The second part is 0 0.7 into x of n minus 1, right? So if you compare x with x of n minus 1, so what is this? It is a delayed version, right? Delayed version of x of n. So in this case, what is required? Unit delay element is required, right? So let's see the next. So block diagram representation, BDR means what block diagram representation for 0 0.7 into x of n minus 1. Okay. So assume like 0 0.7 x of n is an input, input to this, right? This is what, this is basically a unit delay element right and z to the power minus 1 means what unit delay operator so the output from this will be 0 0.7 into x of n minus 1 achieved right fine now go for the signal flow graph representation for 0 0.7 x of n minus 1 so nothing basically same right this like this arrow z to the power minus 1 and the input will be what 0 0.7 x of n okay and the output will become what 0 0.7 x of n minus 1 so this much is clear right these two parts we have evaluated successfully now let's move further for the complete equation now i am going to draw a block diagram representation for y of n is equal to 0 0.7 x of n plus 0 0.7 into x of n minus 1. So I break it into two parts so you will understand how to how I am going to draw the final diagram final block diagram right. So basically start from this we already know input will be what x of n and it is a constant multiplier having constant like 0 0.7 so at this node at this point you will get basically 0 0.7 x of n so this you have already achieved 
you can supply this directly to a adder right and you have to achieve this part now so to achieve this part what is required we have already seen right here see this part to achieve this right so basically a unit delay element is required so this is what an operator unit delay operator this is what a unit delay element and you are passing 0 0.7 into x of n here so you will get what 0 0.7 into x of x of n minus 1 right this is what a delayed version of x of n one unit delay simple because it is going to perform a one unit delay so now this is going to this adder now for this adder there are two inputs this and this particular part so final what you will get you will get y of n is equal to this and this sum so 0 0.7 x of n plus 0 0.7 x of n minus 1 this is what you have to draw basically it's easy right now what is pending signal flow graph representation for this y of n is equal to this so let's move and draw that fine so i have here so let me keep this two so we can compare and draw fine so basically what is the input here input is x of n right arrow you have to multiply this with 0 0.7 so at this node you will get what 0 0.7 into x of n right so you can send this value directly to this node like this okay so and sec for second part what is required a unit delay element is required but it is a signal flow graph representation so 0 0.7 into x of n put arrow here and z to the power minus 1 so you will get here at this point right this signal is coming from this side like 0 0.7 x of n and due to this delay element at this node what you will get basically so y of n is equal to what 0 0.7 x of n plus because of this 0 0.7 x of n minus 1 so this value you will get here at this node simple hope it is clear to you we have already seen right if you see here signal flow graph for 0 0.7 into x of n minus 1 how we achieved same way we did here so hope this example is clear to you so in the next lecture we will see one more complex example then you can understand these things better so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel